Hello everyone, I'm hoping to make this a nice, quick, and easy to follow tutorial. Now, I personally find the built-in Minecraft clocks to be completely inadequate, so I like to use command blocks to make these nice digital clocks. And what's really nice about this design is that you can put it in so many places. You can put it just like in the chat, you can put it on signs, you can put it like as a little thing that hovers above your hotbar, and I'll show all of these things, but there's also other designs you can use, so that's pretty cool. And one last thing here, there's kind of a lot of commands involved. I'm going to read them all out um, and tell you how you can, you know, write them out, but I'm also going to either put them directly in the description or link them in the description so that you can just copy and paste them if you want to. So, without further ado, let's get started here. You're really only going to need two things for this design, and those are a repeating command block and a chain command block. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set up a nice scoreboard objective that we can use to track the time. So, you're going to put in slash scoreboard objectives add time and dummy. And that's just going to make a scoreboard objective called time. So there are a couple numbers we're going to be using in this thing to do like math and stuff. So what you can do to put all of these numbers in is you can say slash scoreboard player set 1000, for example, because we are going to be using 1000, time and 1000. And you can see on the right, I have set up my scoreboard so that all the values display on the right. That's not actually necessary, I just wanted to show that so that you guys could see what's going on a little bit better. Anyway, in addition to 1000, we're also going to need the numbers 60, so you can just change both 1000s to 60s, and also 12. Now we can actually get started on these command blocks. Into the first command block you're going to put the command slash execute store result score main time run time query daytime and you're going to want to change this from uh, needs redstone to always active and once you do that you'll see over on the right for my screen or maybe not for yours we have a scoreboard objective that is counting up and that is actually the time of day as minecraft stores it so if we say slash time set and we can you know put in whatever number we want and it'll show up on the right as well so next up we get to do some math so the first one you're going to want to do is slash scoreboard players operation and then our time equals uh, main time and what i would recommend doing is just copying this whole command because we're going to be using commands very similar to it um, in just a moment so on that note you want to put down another command block and paste that command we just did and just replace hour with minute. And so now you can see over on the right, we have three scoreboard objectives counting up. So now we just need to do some math to hour and minute so that they actually represent the hour and minute more accurately. Let's start off setting up hour. You can just place another command block and into it, why don't you just paste that same command we have and you're just going to need to change a few things. Instead of equals, we want slash equals and instead of main, we're going to want 1000. So the next thing we need to do for this clock is we need to add in another command block, and into that we want to say slash scoreboard players add hour, time, and then 5. Now we can once again put another command block, and this time we'll actually be pasting in our good old scoreboard players operation command one more time, and into this one we're going to be putting in the command, um, instead of equals, we're just going to change it to percentage equals, and instead of main, we just want 12. Now we just need one more command block. If we put it in, we can, we're not going to be pasting again this time, we're going to be saying scoreboard players add hour time one. And now, over on the right, you can see it is saying hour is seven, which I believe means it is 7 a.m. And I'm pretty sure that should be working for anything, like if we say slash time set midnight, you can see it jumps to 12. So now all we have to do is set up the minute as well. So you're going to be putting in another command block, open it up and paste in our good old operation command. This time you're going to do a couple things. You're going to change hour to minute. You're going to change this equals sign to another percentage equals, and you're going to change main to 1000. And actually, why don't you copy this so that we don't have to keep changing hour to minute. Next command, you're going to paste it in. It's instead of percentage equals, it's going to be times equals. And instead of 1,000, it's going to be 60. Last one, you can jump up, place it down, paste your command, change 
percentage equals to slash equals and 1000 to uh, actually 1000 still my bad <laughs> and now our minute over on the right is also counting accurately so it is 7:33 p.m. you might by the way notice some flickering on the sidebar I think that's just because it's kind of trying to update the sidebar sort of in the middle of this command chain so some values are not what they are at the end but that's fine because once we're actually displaying it in a better way we won't be getting that kind of flickering so speaking of which let's talk about how to actually display those so what you want to do is add yet another command block into this command block you're going to put the command execute if score main time matches 6,000 through um, 17,999 uh, the through is with the two dots and then once again we want another if score minute this time time uh, matches and then we want to say 10 dot dot which means greater than 10 now we can say run data modify storage time time and then set value and then you want two apostrophes and inside those apostrophes you want a set of square brackets inside the square brackets you want a set of curly brackets and inside the curly brackets you want some quotation marks inside the quotation marks you can put score outside the quotation marks put a colon and then another set of curly brackets inside the curly brackets another set of uh, quotation marks inside these you want to put name and then outside a colon and then two more quotation marks inside those it will be uh, our then outside the quotation marks a comma another set of quotation marks put in objective inside those a colon outside another set of quotation marks and then time so that that bit right there that's kind of the worst of it and in fact we should copy that everything inside and including the curly brackets so that we can use it later now outside these curly brackets here we want a comma and then you just want a set of quotation marks and a colon a comma and now we can paste in that thing we got but we just want to change hour to minute this time outside this last set of curly brackets you want to put in another comma a set of quotation marks and then space pm now we're going to be using this command or something similar to it a couple more times so you actually want to copy it and now we can put down another command block and paste it in so the modifications we're going to make to this command we're going to change pm to am we're going to go all the way back to the very beginning of the command and change this if here to an unless put down another command block paste it in again leave the pm this time and instead go back to this one colon that's inside the quotation marks here add a zero and go back to the second if the one that comes right before if score minute not if score main and you want to change that if to an unless once again and now the last one you want to paste in the command one more time and you're going to do both things you're going to change an pm to an am you're going to add a zero after the colon and you're going to change both ifs to unlesses once you've done that congratulations the clock is pretty much set up so now we need to talk about how you actually show this I know I said before we were setting up the display and we were but we now need to talk about how to actually like display the display so what we've done here is we've actually stored sort of the message that shows the time inside of some data so to access this text you can put it in a variety of places you can put it anywhere that accepts JSON text I'll go over a few examples in a moment but for now just inside tell raw which will put a message to the chat uh, you can say slash tell raw at a and then inside these curly brackets you want to put a set of quotation marks storage inside the quotation marks outside a colon two more quotation marks and you want to put in time inside those then you want a comma another set of quotation marks inside those you want to put nbt and a, co a colon outside the quotation marks more quotation marks and you want to put time again now finally one more comma another set of quotation marks interpret and outside the quotation marks colon and then you can put a true with no quotation marks for once and when you run that it will put a message to the chat telling you the time so this bit inside the curly brackets here 
This is your magic ticket to showing off your epic digital clock. There are a variety of places that accept JSON text. Some examples include slash tell raw, obviously, also slash title in a similar vein. So if we want to say slash title at a title, it'll put it way up on our screen like that. In fact, slash title is probably one of my favorite ways to show up because if instead of saying title, you say action bar, it'll show it sort of down at the bottom there, which is much less obtrusive. And you'll notice that sort of appeared and then faded away. If you want to have that, what you can do is copy it. Um, you can paste it into a repeating command block with always active instead of needs redstone, and then it'll always show up there. Another good way to do it is with signs. So if you wanted to put down a sign, the way you would actually set the value is with slash data modify block, and then you can put in the coordinates of the sign you want, and then you want to say text one, or you can say two, three, or four if you want it to appear lower down, and set value, and then you want to paste in that thing you want, but you actually want to put a set of apostrophes around it. And then you can see it's doing the time. Once again, you're probably want to, going to want to put that into a repeating command block so that it actually updates properly. So yeah, that's probably pretty much it really for this. There are some things that don't work, like I wanted to summon a pig with a name that was the time of day, but unfortunately that doesn't work. I think for things like names of entities and names of items, you can't have it be sort of, you know, dynamic text, which changes based on, you know, other conditions. One last thing I want to mention really quickly, you can sort of change the formatting of the clock, like you can make it look differently and be all colorful and stuff. So like right now it's just plain white. If I wanted to, I could add in, you know, color red, and then it would be red. Or I could put in, you know, bold, true, and now it's bold. You know, it, it just, it works as a piece of JSON text. So if you know what that means, you can edit it as much as you want to. If you don't know what that means, it's, there's, you know, a lot of information about it, like on the Minecraft wiki, I'll link that if you want to check that out, because it's, it's really nice to know, but I'm not going to explain it right here, because that, that, that's a whole nother tutorial, man, that's a, that's a lot of stuff. So, I think that's just going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Now, I wouldn't really expect you to be like, wow, that was the, the best tutorial ever, I'm going to... Ah, uh, this guy is my, he's my new favorite channel. But, you know, you might be like that if you were to check out some of my other more interesting videos. So, you know, con consider doing that. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon, hopefully. Bye.